This is gonna be quite a tricky one. I think this is where people get quite confused. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Lauren and today I'm gonna to be talking about the pros and cons for hair grease. Now, I'm an advocate for hair grease, not through sponsorship, but just for my sheer love of the stuff. I just love hair grease. If you've watched my previous videos, you know how much I love the old school product. And this, guys, is gel and hair grease. This is the definition, the volume, the everything. Basically, I went back to hair grease just through sheer nostalgia. I just love the smell. You know when smells from a good memory takes you way back to that, that good time. <laughs> and even just seeing the jar just brought back so much nostalgia for me. So after using butters and creams, and I tried, guys, I tried for so long using butters and creams, I never would get the same result every time I'd done a wash and go. So they would vary using the latter products, okay? As you can tell, I do love hair grease, but I'm coming to you today with an unbiased mind to explore both sides of the coin pertaining to hair grease, okay? So the pros and the cons, okay? And to make this a fair evaluation, I'm going to be doing six pros and six cons just so they kind of weigh each other out, okay? Okay, so my first pro for hair grease, the number one reason why I use hair grease is it's a great sealant. The pro is that once you put all that good moisture in your hair, so i.e. if you deep condition your hair, use a leave-in conditioner, you put water on your hair you seal all of that in with hair grease mind you though guys it doesn't actually allow anything to escape which is the good thing so that's pro number one it's a very good sealant but this is something that i can attest to as well as just doing my research and reading around the thickness of it it reduces shrinkage gives you that hang that stretch that some people want and there's nothing wrong with shrinkage guys i love my shrinkage my hair is actually now grown to bra strap length but i love this shrinkage because it gives me volume and definition it does weigh your hair down and again that can be a pro for some but with my hair the thickness of my hair and frizz sometimes of my hair it needs a thick product and a product that's not necessarily water-based water-based will make my hair go into a big poof so that's number two the thickness of the product okay so number three this is going to be quite a tricky one i think this is where people get quite confused so hair grease keeps the hair moisturized but it doesn't actually moisturize the hair okay keeps the hair moisturized but doesn't actually moisturize your hair so as i mentioned in the first one it's a great sealant so any moisture that you've got in your hair it will keep that moisture in it will keep your hair moisturized but guys it doesn't moisturize your hair so just be aware okay so um this is another one that i think a lot of people may be confused with now this is actually based on my own personal experience and this is why i feel i can say this and talk about this one a lot of people have mentioned that hair grease doesn't actually penetrate your strands it does to an extent whether it penetrates yours i don't know but it does with mine if my hair is straight if i've stretched my hair and i've blow dried it out and then I decide to put hair grease on my hair, my hair will start to revert. Therefore, some product, i.e. hair grease, has entered. So any other products that are added that can help with hair growth and hair strength, i.e. bergamot or lavender, that may be an additional ingredient to the hair grease, can, to an extent, penetrate into your strands. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so the fifth one, it's not as hard as you think to wash out. I've had a wash and go with hair grease, which you can check out yourself. And that was me lathering hair grease onto my hair. I still had volume. It wasn't flat and just stuck to my head. <laughs> what I tend to do is usually if my hair's like this and I've got a mixture of hair grease and uh, hair gel on my hair, I usually use a sulfate shampoo. So I eat something like Tresemme or something like Herbal Essence and that just gets rid of the buildup. If you don't want to use a sulfate shampoo, Maui, I can confirm because <laughs> that dries my hair out without any hair grease. Sorry, Maui, it does. So with the hair grease on it, I know it's going to clean that hair grease off and it does. And it's got no sulfates. It cleans the hair immaculately. So that's your alternative to a sulfate shampoo. Okay, and number six, I'd say I've been using hair grease for steadily now, close to three years, I believe. And guys, I haven't had any adverse effects. It doesn't dry my hair out. My hair loves petroleum and mineral oil and, and silicones. <laughs> it doesn't dry out my hair. I haven't had any breakage from it. Uh, in fact, it gives me great length retention. Who would have thunk it? Okay, so let's now move on to the cons. It doesn't allow moisture in to a great extent. So what I mean by this is if you do have your hair in a protective style and you have um, sealed it with hair grease, 
um, you're not going to get much benefit from spritzing your hair. Now, I'm not saying not to do it, but if you do spritz your hair, it's not going to be as beneficial as if you were sealing it with oil. Okay, so this is one that I think a lot of people might query or struggle with or just want an answer to. And the con is that hair grease blocks the hair follicles on your scalp. So a lot of people say don't grease your scalp. I figured I'd do my research. I found that the answer is yes and no. <laughs> For me, this answer is no. Again, I haven't had that issue and this is my own opinion. But being unbiased, I have seen evidence that it can block the hair follicles in your scalp. So if it blocks the hair follicles in your scalp, it can then in turn stop the hair follicles being, being able to breathe, which then in turn will cause hair loss in the long term. If your hair follicles are not getting the oxygen that they need to your scalp because of this barrier. But again, for me, it's how you apply it. I just grease my scalp when I've just braided my hair. I do not do it every day because then that is literally overkill. Okay, so this leads on to number three, the con people are not very sure of the long-term effects as i said i've been using hair grease for close to three years all together in my adult my adult age it just seems like i'm trying to steer you guys to the pros but i'm being i'm just being honest you know you have to figure out what works for your hair and i haven't had any adverse effects otherwise i'll be using it number four a lot of people say that the ingredients may be harsh for your hair i.e mineral oils and petroleum aka petroleum mineral oil helps to minimize frizz enhance curl and add shine i was reading somewhere that the shine that you get is not a natural shine because it's not coming from within your hair strand which i agree with and it is a cosmetic shine because it's on top i.e if you was to put makeup on that wouldn't be your skin looking clear it wouldn't be your natural skin looking clear would it would be the makeup so therefore it's kind of the same premise I think the type of hair that I have, especially being curly, it lacks luster anyway. So even if it's at its healthiest, it's not very shiny unless I add a product to it. So that's not really a big issue for me. All right, so number five, I believe we're at. I mentioned hair grease being thick and weighing hair down. Now for me, that's one of the characteristics that I love. For others, not so much, especially if you're trying to achieve volume. But when my hair's hanging, it can weigh the hair down and weaken the hair strands, okay? And then I'd say number six, because it repels water and hair grease can be sticky, it seems to attract dirt. So your hair gets dirtier a lot quicker. If you've got your hair in a wash and go and you've got hair grease on it, you get more dirt from the pollution from outside, from the cars, just dust generally, you know, sticking to your hair. Yeah, so I think those are my quick pros and cons. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.